Oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we come to your throne of grace, oh Father. We come with a heart open wide, Lord, to listen from you and to understand and to learn from you, oh Father. We pray that you come amongst us, Lord. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. Let this place be a manifestation of your glory, O Master. Lord, we come together today to listen from you and to understand and to learn, O Lord. Lord, as we gather as a few people, Lord, in the coming days, you'll make us grow and you'll help us worship you with much more interest in us, O Father. We thank you and we glorify you. In the holy, mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. How many of you are joyful to be in the presence of the Lord? Hallelujah. It's really nice to see you all come together today. And today the worship will be led by Sister Faber and Sister Hannah. And also uh, they will be coming and her, their team. And they will come up today on stage and sing and praise and worship us and lead us in worship. Uh, so let's welcome them together. Praise the Lord. Can I get a hallelujah? Are you all happy today? So I have always thought that uh, this Bible, this one Bible, how can it be preached for more than 2,000 years? Then I got it then. Jesus is the Alpha and Omega. And in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the word is a never-ending thing. It will never end until the Jesus comes again. Hallelujah. There are so many mysteries and openings in each and every single word of the Bible. There are a million, there are millions and millions of reasons to praise God. But right now, the only reason we need is that He died for us and He rose up again. And He's alive right now watching over us. Hallelujah. So we can uh, start singing by praising him and thanking him. Give thanks 
Uh, we can see in the book of Ruth, um, like Ruth is a Gentile, and uh, when Ruth came into the field of Boaz, he redeemed her. So when we come into the field of Jesus, when we uh, f- when we ask for His forgiveness, He will redeem us by His blood. Hallelujah. So let's worship and praise His uh, praise our Redeemer who lives.
We're going to sing that song once more time, okay? They're going to help us out also. Stay, stay, and we're going to sing, okay? We're going to sing that song a little bit more, like with a little more josh, okay? So we're going to little more increase the tempo. And the song says, "My Redeemer lives." Okay? Are you sure your Redeemer lives? Because if your Redeemer lives, you don't sit simply. You you have to move around a little bit, okay? So we're going to move around a little bit. And this time, you're going to clap your hands on top of your head. You are all young enough to do it, so. Lift your hands up. Let's see how high can it go up. How high can your hands go up? Yeah, both your hands. Both your hands. If you need to clap your hands, you need to raise it. Both your hands up. Okay. So, let's start. 130, yes. Let's hear it. All of you close. Yeah. I know you rescued my soul. His blood has covered my sins. I believe. I believe. My shame, my shame is taken away. My pain is healed in His name. I believe. I believe. I'll raise a banner. I'll raise a banner. Oh. My Lord has conquered the grave, my Redeemer lives, 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 my Redeemer yes, my Redeemer, my Redeemer lives, my Redeemer Okay, so while he's continuing playing, okay, I want to tell you about something. Okay, when our Redeemer lives, the one thing you should always remember is that he is alive, right? When he's alive, there is one thing that is always going to happen. When he's promised he's going to come, he's going to come. If you want to feel the presence of the Lord, ask the Lord to come into our presence. We're going to sing this line again that our Redeemer lives. And when we sing that, pray that from your bottom of the heart that our Redeemer comes in the midst of us. Are you ready to pray with me that my Redeemer lives and He's going to come? Do you believe it? Do you believe our Redeemer lives? Okay, let's sing it once more. One, two, three. My Redeemer lives. Oh, my Redeemer. Yes, He does. My Redeemer lives. Oh, my Redeemer lives, my Redeemer lives, my Redeemer lives, my Redeemer lives, my Redeemer lives. I know you rescued my soul, His blood has covered my sins, I believe. I believe my shame, my shame is taken away, and my pain is healed in His name. I believe, I believe. I'll raise the banner, lift your hands. I'll raise the banner. Oh, my Lord has come. Clap your hands, my Redeemer. Lives. And my Redeemer, yes He does, my Redeemer lives, 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 my Redeemer lives. All of you clap with your hands and praise the Lord. Let's thank the Lord for the presence that He's given us. Thank the Lord that today is the day that the Redeemer lives and He is here for you. Hallelujah. Thank you for the worship. And we're going to take this time to take a little bit of time today to sit and pray. Are you ready for praying today? Because last day was an amazing day. Yesterday was a day filled with the Holy Spirit. A lot of you had a lot of encounters in this church, in the same hall. 
where we praise and worship the Lord every single day. Today we're going to sit and pray. Can you all close your eyes for a few minutes? We're all sitting and praying today. And thank the Lord for the encounter we, we received last day. We thank the Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, we come to your presence, Lord. We come here again with a heart open wide, oh, Father. We thank you for your miraculous love, oh, Father. A love that came down from heaven, a love that died for us on the cross, a love that rose up again, oh, Father. We came back from the dead for us, for our Father. We thank you and we glorify you, Master. Thank you for the encounter that you've given us in our lives the past days. This church is growing beyond our comprehension, of oh Father, and we thank you for that. We thank you for your grace and your mighty presence, Lord. With your grace, we shall prosper, and we believe in that every single day, O oh Master. We thank you and we glorify you. We give you all the glory in the holy, mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All cl eyes closed for a while. We're going to take some time to praise the Lord a little bit more. I don't know why this song came to my mind, but this song is very important to me as a person. Okay, It was a song that I always used to sing around. The song, the song it says, Open the eyes of my heart. The, you all know this song, right? It's a very famous song. It's a video. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. You all know the song? Okay. Can you put a beat for us? All of you, close your eyes. I need all your hands lifted up high. Look up to the heavens and ask the Lord to open the heights of your heart. Tonight as we gather here, I want every eyes closed, but open the eyes that is inside of you in your hearts. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, because I and open the eyes. Oh, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart because I want to see you. Lord, I want to see you. Can you sing? To see you high and lifted up Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love As we sing holy, holy, holy to see you high and lifted up And shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power Pour out your power and love As we sing holy, holy, holy I want to see Lord, I want to see you. Sing, open the eyes. Open the eyes 
of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, cause I want to see you. Tell the Lord I want to see you. Cause I want to see you. Open the eyes of my Shining in the light of your glory